Hi there, my name is Bill Schwab and I'd like to welcome you to Northlight Photographic Workshops. I'm coming to you from the lawn of the Photostock Workshop here in the beautiful woods of northern Michigan. Um, today I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, chemical mixing demonstration for the wet plate process. Now some of you might have seen my video from the other day and if you haven't it's right up here right now as a link uh, where I took people out into the field with my darkroom trailer and we made a shot of an old um, abandoned house up here in northern Michigan uh, of which I have the plate right here. Um, I'm hoping you can see it right now. Uh, anyway, uh, at that time I said that was just kind of an introductory uh, video to the process and, and that I was going to get to some inter, um, into some instructional videos for the process and that's what I'm up to today. So what I'm going to do is mix up probably one of the most important chemicals, um, the most important two chemicals in the whole process being uh, collodion and the silver nitrate, which is what we're going to do today. Now, um, a silver nitrate bath is normally used in the process in something like this, a uh, tank like this, kind of elevated at maybe a 45 degree angle um, so that you can put the plate, once it's coated with collodion, you can put the plate on and dip it down inside of the tank, inside of the silver nitrate tank and close it off as it becomes uh, sensitized. Now, when I say become sensitized, um, the collodion that you use has some salting to it. It has some bromide and some iodide salts to it. And when you uh, take that collodion and you put it into the silver nitrate, um, the silver nitrate changes over more to a silver iodide and it becomes light sensitive and therefore becomes your photographic plate that you put into your camera. So the solution of the silver nitrate is very important. Um, the pH is very important and the, the, um, the specific gravity of the uh, silver nitrate is very important. So today we're going to do some mixing of that. Um, I thought that I would attack all of these parts of the wet plate process as far as instructional videos go, rather than try to do everything all at one time, which would get very confusing. I thought that I would do it in stages. And so this is going to be number one. So what we're going to do and what we need for this is first and foremost is safety glasses. Now the other day in the video I poured some silver nitrate into my tank in the trailer and somebody commented quite astutely that I didn't wear my glasses at the time and, and, and he was right. Um, and so I want to uh, reiterate the fact that you really should be using uh, safety glasses whenever you're using your silver nitrate because any kind of a splash back into your eyes can do some damage and even blind you. Um, although I haven't heard of a lot of incidences of that, best not to play around. So. Your eyes are your most important thing as far as your photography career goes, so why not protect them with a $2 pair of uh, safety glasses. So anyway, off that, um, <clears throat> gloves are another good thing to use because uh, silver nitrate is a very staining process and uh, it will leave black spots that you can probably see in my hand right now. Um, and it'll leave that on your clothing and everywhere. So best to wear an apron and to wear some gloves when you're actually working with the silver nitrate uh, when you're doing the process. For mixing purposes, uh, um, I'm just going to wear my gloves and my safety glasses and we'll be cool. Now, the thing is we're going to be needing silver nitrate also. Uh, we're going to be needing a small scale, a uh, small gram scale. I'll leave that right there. Distilled water, stirring rod, I like to use glass, a beaker, also glass and um, a hydrometer so that we can measure the specific gravity. Um, a graduated cylinder is good to have. Um, you'll see why in a minute and we're going to be measuring out to, to mix up 200 milliliters so this is going to be a big help. Uh, and last but not least some pH test strips. Now the process is somewhat of an acidic process and um, for a positive process in there in the uh, collodion it's best to use say between a four and a six uh, pH. Um, you can go a little bit higher, but getting up towards six is pretty high. Um, uh, the less, the, the more, the more acidic, the more sensitive the, the, uh, the collodion is, um, or the silver nitrate is. So it's best to have it around a four and that's what we're shooting for today. So anyway, with that in mind, uh, it's time to get on my, um, my glasses and get on my, uh, my gloves. And we'll get to this. Uh, so first, let's uh, take some distilled water. And we're going to pour that out into our graduated cylinder. And we're going to measure out 200 milliliters. I love the sound of the uh, water pouring in a graduated cylinder. And it makes me have to, well, anyway. So there we are. Pour off a little bit, just a little high. There we go, 200. 
So I've got my distilled water poured. I'm just gonna put this out of the way. We'll forget about that. Now, um, next up is to show you what I mean about specific gravity. Now, when you take the hydrometer in just clear water, it's just gonna sink to the bottom. There's not gonna be anything there. So you hear it tinking and it's gone down the bottom all the way. So when we mix up our solution, it's gonna end up coming up around here between the green and the orange, which will be a, hopefully a 9% solution. So we'll put that off to the side. We'll take our beaker, gonna pour the water into the beaker. And now we're gonna set up and weigh our silver nitrate. All right, now, now a 9% solution, we would be measuring out, if we had 100, millil 100 milliliters of water, we would be measuring out uh, nine grams of silver nitrate. We are gonna be doing 200 milliliters. Um, this is just gonna be a replenishment um, bath for my currently um, used bath. Um, so I'm not gonna do that much. Uh, this is just more for a demonstration. So I'm gonna measure out, it's 200 milliliters, so I'm gonna be measuring out 18 grams of the silver nitrate. So, let me get to that, and there we go. So, done with the silver nitrate, and now what we're gonna do is just take that and just pour it into the distilled water. Now I like to put it in a little bit at a time while I'm stirring, but it doesn't really matter. It's, it goes into solution pretty fast. This silver nitrate that I have is quite um, powdered. Sometimes you'll have it where it's a little more granular, and it might take a little bit longer to dissolve and you'll have to dissolve it until there's no more particulate matter in the uh, solution. But like I say, if you've got a really nice powdered uh, stock to begin with, it dissolves really quickly. Like this is already dissolved, it's ready to go. I don't see anything in there, no particulate matter. Now what happens is also when you're mixing this at sometimes at home, if you're using something that's maybe not quite so pure, the water might, or the solution might end up looking a little gray or something like that. Don't worry about it because as you, as you leave it overnight to season, it will clear. Um, and when I say season, um, we'll, we can, we'll get to that a little bit more later in a future video, but if you're using a new bath, if you're setting up a completely new bath right now uh, that's never been used before to sensitize a collodion plate, you're going to have to do what's called excite the bath. And um, by exciting the bath, you, you take a collodion poured plate. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, uh, it doesn't have to be fresh collodion or anything like that, but you need to pour a plate and then you take that plate and you put it into the silver tank uh, inside of the, the new solution that you've done and you leave it in there for a good 24 hours. And that seasons that and excites that bath and it gets it, it's more like a sourdough, it just sort of activates the chemical process. Um, and when you go and you take that plate out in the morning, you'll notice that there'll be some crystals and things around the edges. And that means that it's done its duty and that you should basically filter that again through a coffee filter and a funnel between a couple of bottles. Filter that out so you should get out any precipitant that might be in there. Um, but anyway, so what we're going to get to now is we're going to pour this silver nitrate solution, which should be a 9% solution, back into the graduated cylinder. And I'm gonna show you by putting the hydrometer back in there. And now you see the hydrometer floats and we're right about where I wanna be, which is right at 9%, which it should be because of the solution and the uh, mixture that we made. So that's pretty good, we're there. So now, like I say, you, you would wanna put this into your, uh, I'm using it as a replenishment for my bath. I can just put it in there, that'll be no problem. But if you're just using this as a first time solution, you're going to wanna excite the bath and uh, put a plate in there overnight like I explained a minute ago. So I'm gonna pour this back into the beaker. And with that, we're gonna check the pH. I'm gonna dip it down in there. And sure enough, I'm right about at a perfect four, which is ideal for doing this process. So we're ready to go. Um, so with that, it was a short video, but I hope it was helpful for you. Um, I'm going to be doing the next video will be on mixing the collodion. Uh, itself and now that's a little bit more involved than this um, but it will be the next video and when I have it ready it will be in a link that will be right up about here 
Um, so until that time, I'm hoping that you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful. And if so, maybe give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, maybe subscribe by pressing on the button down there. Um, if you know of a friend that might be interested in this, please tell them about it. Um, like I say, I'm going to be doing a series of these leading up to the uh, leading up to you being able to do this on yourself at home. Um, now certain things like silver nitrate you can pick up at uh, on Amazon and at other labs. I'll leave some links below. Uh, the same thing with a lot of the other materials here. Um, I'll try to leave links to those below, uh, but it's easy enough to just Google them yourself. Um, and with that, uh, I thank you very much. I'm glad that you spent some time with me. I appreciate it and take care. Bye-bye.